In this video, I'm going to be going over the light adjustment feature in Fuser, how to change lights in Revit, and how they affect uh, Fuser's uh, lighting environment using the edit selection. Uh, and we have our scene here, and there are a couple things that I want to change. Now, the first thing I want to change, these lights right here, it should be a, a white fluorescent, and they look kind of yellow. So to do that, I'm going to do that from Revit. I'm going to select the light that I want to change, and then I'm going to hit Edit in the BIM window. That's going to bring up the Revit file with the appropriate ceiling plan where that light is. And now I'm going to make my change to the lighting information and make it more of a white fluorescent. And when Revit's done making its changes, it will send that information to Fuser. And now all of those lights are white. And that looks a lot better in my opinion. We'll go over here, and it's a little dim. I want to brighten it up. But uh, I don't really know what values to use uh, in Revit. So I'm going to prototype using Fuser's light adjustment tool. To do that, I select on a light. And then we have Adjust Light button. That brings up this. Now these values are pulled from Revit. I can go into Revit and change those values if I want, or I can do it right here with these sliders, and it happens instantly. Now this is just affecting the one light that I selected. If I want to affect the family of the light, I just click this box right here, and all the lights are affected. Now I can adjust accordingly. Uh, so right about there looks good, and I want them to be a little bit warmer lights. Okay, and uh, I'm satisfied with the way that looks. Now what I want to do is I want to take these values back into Revit, and to do that I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna click OK, and I'm going to, to select the light. I'm gonna go into my Revit file, and on the Calic Fuser Tech tab. I'm going to hit Edit Selection. And that's the other way we use Edit Selection to select an object from Fuser to Revit. So now I can input those values. Get my values up there. So the first value is our luminous, and that's 6892. And our second value is the color temperature, 3720. Now you're not going to see much changes in Fuser because we already have those values set. So it's just going to resynchronize. And now each time we load in the Revit project into Fuser, we'll have those light settings.